a second, give me a second. Like this morning been like one of the most messed up mornings I done ever had in my life. Like the most messed up mornings. Okay, this is I'm just trying to bring aware of this trafficking people this shit is real this shit really hit home today it hit home today so this morning got my kids ready to leave for school normally my kids leave out to uh to walk to school because my they school literally right around the corner from my house literally so my oldest boy he do um virtual learning so he had just walk his siblings to school my oldest girl, she goes to a whole nother school. So he had just walked them to school. And he'll normally be back. They normally be back. I mean, he'll normally come back home like right before 8 o'clock. Because they got to be to school at 7.45. So I guess a call. Right? A random call, I don't even know the number. I normally don't even answer random calls. I answer this call. It's a cop. He calls me and tells me that he has my children. I'm like, okay. Why do you have my kids? That's my first thing. Like, okay, my, why are my kids in at school? He calls me tell me that he has my children and that um they were they was they was in a car and they got pulled over for a a traffic stop. Now my whole thing is like okay they like are they supposed to be when the last time you seen your kids i'm like this morning they like okay um well um hey do you know this uh what's um they like uh do you know someone that that be taking them to school i said sometimes i said my neighbor will take them to school and um because our kids go to the same school they like well what's her um what's her race I'm like, uh, I was like, she's black. It was like, is she white? I'm like, no, I said she black, but she looked like she could be mixed. Probably with white. I don't know. She looked like she mixed though. They was like, uh, what kind of vehicle she drive? I said, well, a truck. They like, um, is it a pickup truck? I'm like, no. They like, is it a van? I was like, no, it's not that I know of. She has a truck. So scariest fucking moment of my fucking life, bro. I, they like, well, come meet us. Um, um, such and such. So I go meet them, but it took me a minute to get there because my transportation is down. They're like, well, we about to take your kids to, um, the eighth precinct. So they took my kids to the eighth precinct. I still go there because they told me to meet with them first to come see, you know, to, to take a look and see if this is the lady I know. I get there instantly. Red flag. I saw a fucking white van. Red flag. Instantly. So they questioning me. They like, what's your kid's name? I tell them their names. They like, okay, they got the birthday, blah 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 blah. So I get there, right? And they questioning me and stuff. And so he was like, okay, I'm about to go show you the lady. Um, she was in a cop car. So as I'm about to walk to the cop car with the white um cop, he's like, no, nah. the black cop was like, I had a picture of her right here, uh, her ID in my phone. So I said, okay. So I look, I instantly bust out crying, y'all. It was a white fucking lady that I never, never seen a day in my life. Never. This bitch kidnapped my fucking kids this morning on their way going to school. Never in a million years would I would ever think that should have happened. All four. You'll normally hear like somebody take one one kid, or one adult, or two people. She took all four of my kids, bro. All four of my youngest kids, bro. That shit really hurted my fucking feelings. I didn't know how to react to it. My mom was there with me. She was ready to fight. And I'm telling my mom, like, calm down. Because I'm really mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, calm down. It ain't nothing we can do now. She in a cop car. You know what I'm saying? And I want to handle this shit the right way. So, um, so I did the report and everything. I go see, to, to my kids. Go to the eighth precinct. Go pick up my kids. They was Okay. And, um, you know, 
instantly my daughter came and ran up to me and gave me a hug. I'm sorry. My, my youngest boy came and gave me a hug. This shit is real. Carol, and this shit is fucking real. I never in a thousand years would ever think something like this would ever, ever happen to me in this neighborhood, bro. Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, well, what happened? And the thing is that she basically preyed on my youngest boy because, you know, kids are gullible. And my youngest boy only five, bro. He only five, so he don't know no better. And so once he was trying to, like, when he was walking, he was walking behind them. And normally, I normally would, like, go outside and, like, watch them go to, like, the corner. Because I have a neighbor that literally watched my kids go or she would take them to school because my vehicle was down. And so, um, today, like, I didn't. And I regret it to this day. I regret that shit now. I regret not watching them, or I and I and I regret just not going with them. You know what I'm saying? But I would have never thought, cause literally they school is literally right around the corner from my house. And I tell my kids like, thank God. I thank God. I thank God. This was only God, bro. And that's and my kids and I. I make sure my kids pray every night. I was like, see this. This is this is why y'all pray every day. Y'all pray every day. Because she could have easily could have got away with y'all. Like, she got away. She kidnapped y'all for sure. My uh, my youngest kid, he don't even understand what's going on. And I had to, I'm like, do you understand y'all just got kidnapped? He was like, no. I was like, Jaden, y'all literally just got kidnapped. Um, Yes, she did say something to him. She... My um oldest son said when um she uh when she was pulling up on them she had pulled up to my youngest one because he was all the way in the back. Normally I be telling them do not let him be in the back of y'all while y'all walking. Anybody can snatch him up. Y'all walk together, hold his hand. But I today he wanted to play in the fucking snow, so she pulled up to him. Basically got on the side of him and he basically walked over to the car because it was a lady. You wouldn't think that it would be a lady, but it's a it was a whole woman. Laura needed these kids in the car. And then the crazy part about it, when she, when they got when they was in um when my son got was was heading towards the car and whatever, um my youngest daughter and my oldest boy, they was trying to go get my youngest boy. But it was too late. He was already in the car. They said they wanted to run and scream. They said they wanted to run, but they didn't want it to leave him. By the time they turned around the run, he was already in the car. They didn't want to leave their brother. Which, you know, I can understand that they they did good not leaving their brother. Because she would have got away with my boy. She could have. That's my youngest, you know. She would have got away with him. And wouldn't nobody know nothing. Nobody would have known nothing. I wouldn't have known shit if that... I wouldn't know nothing. I wouldn't know if she got away with my kids or nothing like that up until by the time it turned 8 o'clock and my son wasn't home yet. And so, um, what what they had told me when they had got in the car, she was up there. She, you know, she was being nice to them and everything, trying to lure them in. She was telling them, like, okay, she's like, do I have snacks. Y'all want some snacks and whatever. And my youngest boy and my youngest daughter was like, yeah, we hungry and whatever. And my oldest boy was like, no. So he did right by telling her, like, no, like, no. And then they asked again. He was like, no. Um, Hold on, Curly. I'm going to tell you. Um, So when... Um, she was driving or whatever. My youngest girl daughter said she seen like a little pill bottle or whatever, so she felt like she was about to drug him. And then she was talking to her um, oldest brother. My oldest son was telling telling him like she about to sell us. Like she, my daughter knew right off the back like this is not good. Like she about to sell us. And um, so she was telling him. So once my son seen like she was going the opposite way from the school, cause remind you she was telling him that, that she about to take him to school. When he seen that her, she going from the wrong way from school, that's when he tried to get out the car, the van. So he was trying to get out the van, and he couldn't get the door open. Somehow it was locked, I don't know, but he couldn't get the door open. So um, he started to pull out his phone. She did not know he had a phone on him. That's what fucked her up. So my oldest boy had his phone on him. And what really fucked her up was because I guess she was so in a, in a so fucking rush or whatever the case may be, she went past a red uh, light. 
So the cops had seen her go past the red light. And so they pulled her over. Once they pulled her over for the red light and whatever, they brought her out the car. They did not, the cops did not know my kids was in the back. Um, they did not know my kids in the back. They were still quiet because they were still scared. Um, so once they pulled her out the car and then they got the car keys, um, that's when the lady was up there like, well, she was trying to rush back inside the car to get the kids. I guess she was like, well, I'm about to take my, she said, I'm about to take my kids to school, my kids as in hers. And so that's when the cops had looked and they seen that my kids was in the back. And then that's when my oldest son, he started crying. That's what made them like, oh yeah, these not your kids. And my son said he started, he made himself cry so they can know like, I'm, this is danger. Like, no. And, um, they had asked, it was like, this your mom and my son shook his head crying. And my, um, oldest, not my oldest, but, uh, my middle daughter, she, she was crying the whole time. And, um, they was all scared. Um, but the lady had told my kids that, uh, when they, when they was going opposite way, she had told them like, yeah, I'm about to go get y'all brothers. What brothers? They like, I'm about to, she told them that they, that she was about to go pick up some other, other kids. Now, from the way that she was talking to them and from what she was telling the cops, basically that this is not the first time that this has happened. It's not the first time that this is that that this has happened, and I'm just basically on here to give y'all awareness because it's really people out here praying on kids that's on their way to school, leaving from school, going home. Um, if you can walk with your child, even if they like my my son old enough to walk, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, she was able to gather all four of them because she prayed on my youngest. Um. Hold on, it's a lot of y'all commenting. Yes, Carmelita, that's what I said. I said, thank God the, the uh, cops was right there at the right time. Like, they literally is there at the right time and pulled her over. Because normally, shit, anybody can go past a stop sign, a uh, red light, you know what I'm saying? But she was, she went past and they was like, okay, this look funny. And they pulled her over. So they was like, when she when when she said my kids school and whatever, they had to look and they looked at the kids like, okay, this lady is white. You know what I'm saying? These kids is light skinned, but they'll never know because my kids so light they they can look like they got a white mama or a white daddy or they can be mixed. You know what I'm saying? And so that's when they got to questioning my kids and stuff. And then that's when my kids had told them. And um, like I said, from what she was telling my kids up here, like, oh well, I'm about to go pick up these other kids. She probably was just saying that just to, you know, so they can feel safe or whatever. But now I'm so saying, like I said, this is not her first time doing this because how the way she just went upon it. My kids literally stepped outside. They didn't even make it down to the corner. They was halfway down my block before this lady picked them up. Oh, yeah, I thought I did make it public. My bad. I'm going to make it public. <laughs> but, uh, DeAndre, you're going to have to go back. So the beginning after this is done, I'm not about to keep, re I'm not about to repeat it. But yes, my kids are safe and sound now. I made sure I called their fathers so they know before I even go live. But this is just a wake up call for anybody that have kids and y'all just, you know, thinking everything. Or like I said, I I've seen stuff like this happen before or some you know see it on facebook or you see movies and stuff like that but you will never think that sh you'll never never think something like that will ever happen to your kids because like i said i thought shit my son was old enough you know what i'm saying and i gave my son the benefit of the doubt because he was like my you don't need to walk us home you don't need to take us home um i walk them he want to you know fulfill that that big brother role you know what i'm saying and i'm not gonna blame my kids it's not their fault you know it's not their fault they they kids my oldest, my youngest is five. He is. I'm not gonna blame him. It's just like I said. I I thank God that it didn't turn out worse. You know what I'm saying? Cause I wouldn't have never known. I wouldn't have never known. So I would have got that call. So I would have got that call, or I wouldn't have got no call at all. So, yes, God is good. He definitely is. I like I said. I pray every day. My kids pray every single night. Every night. They know their prayers by heart. 
every night, even my five-year-old. Um, so I had to contact their school, let their school know. So now they school know and they, um, being more aware because it's a lot of kids that do walk to school and walk home from school and they trying to like put up some type of, uh, transportation or something like that for, um, the neighborhood kids or whatever. Um, but I did let them know. That way they can be a ring awareness to school as well. Um, but yeah, they my kids couldn't go to school after that. My 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 uh eight year old, she's she's like scared. She was so scared, crying. And like I said, my seven year old, she already knew right off the bat. She told her brother, like, she about to sell us. Like, she know. She like, she's about to sell us. And like I said, my five-year-old, he don't even, he ain't even know what was going on. He think, he like, I know the lady. I said, Jay, no, you do not. You do not know this lady. You do not know her. Just because she seemed like she nice or whatever. I said, those would be the ones that usually lower kids is the ones that's trying to keep, that's trying to be nice and asking you, do you need this? Do you need that? Just so you can be quiet until she gets you where she needs you to go. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna make this um public once I end this live. So um, like I said, I had just left the uh the precinct, and so I'm gonna update y'all with that. Yes, I'm pressing charges, of course, along with the other charges they already got her got up up against her. And I thank God, thank God, thank, thank God for the officers that pulled her over. Y'all just do not know. Y'all my kids angels right now. Like, for real. Like, literally. Um. Well, I'm about to end this live. So, for anybody who want to know what was going on from beginning to start, so y'all can go ahead and rewatch it. Just... Make sure keep y'all kids safe. Keep them safe. Cause boy, I do not know what the fuck I would have did. I wouldn't know what I would have did if I would have lost my kids today. I swear to God. This morning would have been the last time I would have saw my kids if it wasn't for the cops. If it wasn't for the cops, and then like I said, my son, my oldest boy, he played it very cool because he was trying to stay calm for his siblings. He played it very cool. So she won't harm his siblings. You know what I'm saying? Or him. But he did try to escape. He felt that it. Doors was locked. He did have his phone on. But by the time he was about to call 911, he told me he was about to call 911. Then after 911, he was going to call me. By the time he was about to. Once he noticed that the doors were not unlocked, he, was, he just slowly pulled out his phone. His phone was on vibrate. He was about to call the police, but before he could call the police, the police was already behind him pulling her over. So thank God for that. All right, my thoughts. And it's live. Y'all be safe out there.